Hey there, Mr. Holcomb here again with another episode of The Math Behind the Module. Okay, this is lesson 28, solving more percent problems. I think 27 was that, so we're doing a little bit more of the same. This is the same, but different. Let's look at it that way. This is a really short lesson, so this is good. Classwork, example. If an item is discounted 20%, the sale price is what percent of the original price? So what they're saying is we have an original. Minus the sale price. Original minus sale price equals discount. Right? The original price minus the sale price equals how much you saved. Or how much you were discounting. Original minus the discount equals sale. And so on and so forth. Alright, so anyhow. Let's get that out of the way so we can get you. If an item is discounted 20%. 20%. The sale price is what percent of the original price? The sale price, an item is discounted 20%. That gives us the sale price. So in other words, what did we take away from our denominator to get our numerator? So they're saying out of 100, we're going to knock off 20%. And when we do that, the person has to pay 80. So the answer is 80%. Okay, so all we're doing is taking the denominator minus the numerator. 100 minus what they discounted equals what's left. If the original price of the item is $400, what is the dollar amount of the discount? All right, so now they're, we're still using that 20% discount, so if I use that 20 over 100, and let me go back to last lesson, and I said it is percent over 100 equals part over the whole. So you memorize that. If the original price of the item is $400, original price is the whole price, what is the dollar amount of the discount? So 20% discount over 100 equals something over 400. So then I ask myself, self, what's 400 divided by 100? And you would tell me it's 4. So I'm going to multiply by 4, and 20 times 4 is 80. So therefore, the amount is $80. That was an $80 discount. Okay. Then we're coming down here and they're adding another component to this and they're saying, how much is the sale price? Well, again, total price minus discount equals the sale price. So the total price was $400. So I put 400 here. Minus the discount, that was 80. 400 minus 80 is 300 400 minus the $80 discount is what we're going to pay, which is 320. Right? But remember, remember what Mr. Holcomb said when, when you when it's when I was talking about saving money earlier. If you spend zero dollars, you save 100 percent. All right. Exercise. The following items were bought on sale. Complete the missing information in the table. Okay. So we have an original price. We have a sale price. They're asking for the amount of the discount, the percent saved, and the percent paid. Well, let's start with the real simple section, which is right here. All right. Percent saved plus percent paid equals 100%. So... 100 minus 20 is 80. 25 plus what is 100? Or 100 minus 25 is 75%. 90 plus what is 100%? 100% minus 90 is 10%. 100% minus 40 is 60%. 100 minus 80 is 20%. 
and this one's blank, so we have to find this over here before we can do this. Okay. All right, that was easy. I used to have an easy button for staples, and I'm just pushing it and say that was easy. Uh, I just uh, I put it in the storage before I moved here. My mistake. All right, so we have an item, a television. Don't know its original price, but we know its sale price is 800 and we know that the percent we're paying is eight hundred dollars or eighty percent of it which is eight hundred dollars what do we want to know is the original price so we know that we have eighty out of one hundred equals the sale price which is part of the total over something so what did i multiply eighty by to get eight hundred ten so what's one hundred times ten one thousand Okay, so the original price was $1,000. The amount of the discount is the original price minus the sale price we're going to subtract here. And that is going to tell us that we, the discount was $200, which is 20%, 1000 Okay, it's all are interrelated, just don't confuse them. Okay, so now we have an original price. We have a percent saved a percent paid we want to know the sale price that's how much we paid on discount so I can actually use this 75 over here and say 75 over 100 equals the original price that's the total and then what did we have to do to get from here to here well, that's going to give us a fraction, so I'm going to say 25 goes into 75 three times. 25 goes into 100 four times. Let's try that again. And that's going to equal 80. So I have to multiply that by 20, and 3 times 20 is 60. All right, so the sale price was $60. So I paid 75% of 80. So I discounted 20. Because $80 minus $60 is $20. So then you have to ask yourself, percent saved is the amount discounted is 20 times 4, because 25% is a quarter of 100. 25 times 4, 80. That's what you can always check. It's $200 times 80% paid total. Okay. Or 200, 20% of 1,000 is 200 right here. Next one. We have the sale price. We want to know how much the discount and we want to know how much the original price is. So if it, we can use either one of these depending on what we're trying to find. We know the sale price. So that's what we paid. We paid 90%. So the sale price is 90% of the total. And we paid 54. We need to know what the total is. So the denominator is blank, the original price. So again, what did I do to get from 90 to 54? Well, 54 times 2 is 108, so we need to reduce this. And that comes down to 9 over 10. And 9 times 6 is 54. So now it works once we reduce it. So if I do this, 9 times 6 is 54. What is 10 times 6? 60. That is our answer. 60. Original price minus the sale price equals the discount price. 60 minus 54 is $6. And then check, is $6 10% of 60? Yes, it is. Okay? All right, so moving along. This is the same value we knew from before, and what did we do? We used the percent paid. So if we paid 60%, that's going to be 60 over 100 equals, this right here, is the sale price. It's not the total. It's $51.60 over some value. Okay. 
Now this is where it started to get tricky. So if I go to my calculator and try to see what 51.60 is divisible by, and the values we're working with is 60 over 100, which is 6 over 10, which is reduced to 3 over 5, will 6. 3 will go into that, so let's just do that. I don't want to lose my calculator. I'm trying to learn my multiplication tables and all that. So if I'm like you, you should try to learn them as well. So 60 over 100 reduces to 3 over 5. 20, 20 times 3 is 60. 20 times 5 is 100. Okay, so now I need to know what I multiply 3 by to get 5. Remainder of 2, 21. 3 times 7 is 21. And 3 goes into 60. 3 times 2 is 60. So it's 1720. Right? So 1720 times 5. 1720 times 5. is $86. Okay, so it's $86. 86 minus 5160, let's do it this way, so we can show all our work. Six, we have to borrow, five, nine, and 10. <laughs> We didn't need anything from there, so let's leave that 10. 10 minus 6 is 4. 5 minus 1 is 4. 8 minus 5 is 3. So it was 34.40. Okay. All right. So now we know that 20% was saved here, 80% we paid, and the amount of the discount is 280. I'm running out of room here, so let me just clean this up for a moment. Okay, Let's start with a clean slate. So, amount of discount would be the percent you save. So that is 20% that I can represent as 20 over 1. Okay. equals the original price over the sale price, but the discount is 280. So the difference between this and this is going to be 280. Okay. Okay. Had a little bit of construction noise going on right behind me here, so I had to pause the video for a while. So let's take a look at this again. Here we don't know the original price or the sale price. So what I was saying was, you cannot say 20 over 100 equals something over something and not know either. So what I'm going to look at in this case is, if I look up here, what did we do with this 10% saved? 10% saved times the amount of the discount. Well, what's 10 times 6? It's 60. So if I can take my percent saved and multiply it by the discount, that's going to give me my original price. See the, see, and in math, that's what we need to do. We need to look for patterns. So 10 times 6 is 60. 25 goes into 100 four times. 4 times 20 is 80. 20 goes into 100 five times. 5 times 200 is 1,000. Okay, so now do you see the pattern? So here I say 20 goes into 100 five times. So I'm going to multiply $2.80 times 5. So 280 times 5. 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 8 is 40, bring the 4 here. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 4 is 14. So the cost of the book was $14. Now I know the total cost is 14, okay, and I need to know the sale price. Well, I already know the discounted price, so there's no need to reduce this and say it's 1 over 5, 5 times what is 14 and get a strange decimal. 
All I've got to do is take $14 minus $2.80. I've got a problem. So I borrow a number from here. 10 minus 8 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. So it's $11.20. Okay? So $14 minus $11.20 is $2.80. And if I take 20% of 14 which is two dollars and eighty cents. Okay, that was a little off the wall there, and uh, with the distraction, I just had to get away from it. Okay, snack bar. Here we have no percentages. We have an, the discount amount. We have the sale price. So all we need to do, if you look up here, is six plus fifty four sixty. Twenty plus sixty is eighty. Two hundred plus eight hundred is thousand. We're just adding the discount plus the sale. It gives us the total. So a dollar seventy plus thirty cents is two bucks. Okay. So now we know the sale price. We know the original price. We don't know percentages. So what I can do is take the something over one hundred equals our dollar seventy over two dollars. So to take, go from 100 to 2, I had to divide, or to go from 2 to 100, I should say. So let me, not going that direction. We, our unknown is on the left this time. So let me change colors here. So 2 times what is 100? That's 2 times 50. So I multiply 1.7 times 50. Okay, here comes that noise again, just a moment. Okay, so I have one decimal place, I have three decimal places, so that should actually be over here, 0.85. And remember, 0.85, to get percent, we have to move the decimal two places to the right, and it's 85%. Okay, so the percent paid was 85%. The percent, percent saved was the complement to that 100%. Which is 15, 85 plus 15. Okay. Those last two are a little tricky. Those, those are advanced questions. But if you take the time and try to figure out patterns, you can figure out a way to solve those. Okay? If that confuses you, go back and watch it again. I explain how to use patterns. the end of the lesson, I'll go through your problem set.